Hi, my name is Joe Domaleski. My amateur radio call sign is KI4ASK, and today I am going to demonstrate fox hunting. Fox hunting is the location of a hidden radio transmitter, otherwise known as the fox. Here's some of the gear I'll be using. This is an ICOM R5 radio scanner, and we will be focused on the VHF band. I have a compass so that I can take bearings from my location to where I find the signal. This is a map of Fayette County. I've been told the fox is somewhere between the city of Fayetteville and Peachtree City. I've got a pen. The other piece of equipment I have is a tape measure two meter VHF Yagi antenna. This antenna has directionality, so I will be connecting it to the scanner and point it in various directions until I get a good strong signal. And once I get a strong signal, I will take a bearing from my location to where I think the strongest signal is. Okay, needless to say, the other piece of equipment is the Fox or the hidden radio transmitter. I have been told that there is a VHF transmitter on 146.535 megahertz hidden somewhere between Peachtree City and Fayetteville. And it's my goal to find that transmitter. So the three-step process for finding the fox, the first step is to actually hear the signal and take bearings. And we're gonna take three bearings and where they intersect, that should get us in the general area of the fox. You can see my scanner here, 146.535. We're getting a pretty strong signal. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna point the beam in various directions until I get the strongest signal. So once I do that, I will take a bearing and I will mark it on my map. Okay, looks like we're getting our strongest signal from this direction here. Let's see, we got a full scale signal there. So now I just need to take a bearing to that direction and plot it on the map. It's pretty close to south, it's just to the west of south. So we want to plot our azimuth in that direction there. That's where we got the strongest signal. So almost, but not quite due south of this location here. Okay, here's our map of Fayette County. We are here at New Hope Church, which is right where that black dot is. So let me line up the straight edge to the bearing and we will plot that on the map. So due south is 180. This is about 190 degrees. So. We're right there at that black dot, so let's go ahead and draw a line on that azimuth where we picked up the strongest signal. Okay, so I've drawn the line on that bearing, and we don't know how far away it is, so I've drawn it the entire length of the map. We know the top of the map is north, and we said it was about 190 degrees. 180 is due south, so it was about 190 degrees. Let's go ahead and take another bearing. Position here to take another bearing to the fox. I am to the west of the line I just plotted. And there I'm picking up a signal. If I move away from it, the signal goes away. But as I move closer, looks like it's that direction there. Now I'm also on high ground. Standing on high ground really helps. This is a VHF signal, so it's line of sight. There we go, I'm picking up the fox again. Let's just make sure that was the strongest signal. As I move away from it, the signal goes away. So I'm pretty sure this direction here. So let's take out the compass and see what bearing that is. So I've got out my compass. North is that way. It's almost southeast. Looks like it's about 120 degrees where I got the strongest signal. So let's plot that on the map. Okay, you don't have to use a compass, but it does help. The top of this map points to the north. So the red and the compass, you can see is pointing the same as the top of the map that's north. And then we look at the bezel ring. There's 120 degrees that way. So let's use this straight edge and we'll draw a line from that dot and we'll intersect this line from the first azimuth we shot. Okay, so I've taken the second bearing from this spot right here, this high ground, which is right here, to that direction. 
And so we can see where the two lines intersect on the map. I have a pretty good idea where it's at, but we really want to confirm where the, uh, where the fox might be. A common mistake is for folks just to shoot one bearing and go straight to it, but see, you don't know where on that line it could be. So uh, let's go to the east of where these two intersect and take one more bearing to be sure, and then we will head in the general area of where these lines intersect. Okay, so I have located myself to the east of where these two points come together. Just to the west of downtown Fayetteville. I am right here near the Fayette Life Academy. And we're gonna take a bearing and see if we can't get another read on where the fox might be. All right, that's a pretty decent signal there. We'll sweep away from it. And we've lost it that way. Looks pretty good there. Lost it there. So it looks like it's that direction there. Let's take a bear. All right, we've just picked up a signal. Sweep away from it. Not so much over there. Definitely in this direction. Not so much that way. So it looks like it's in this direction right here. Okay, so the bearing looks like it's this direction here, almost parallel to the lines in this parking lot. So let's see what that azimuth looks like. Okay, so I've got out the compass. You don't have to have a compass. The compass actually helps, but you can just take the map out and orient it if you know where north, south, east, and west is, but I find the compass actually helps. So we know where north is there, and it looks like 220 degrees, almost southwest. So let's plot that on the map. That's where we got the strongest signal, that direction right there. Okay, the red on the compass is pointing to the north as is the map here, and I've lined up my straight edge from that point we're at to where the intersections are. So let me go ahead and draw a straight line draw there. Draw the third point there, and we now have a good triangulation of the different azimuths. And as I zoom in on the map, that actually is a place I'm familiar with. Looks like it's the Ridge Nature Area. So that park, Looks like it would be a good place to hide the fox. All my points intersect. So what we're gonna do now is head in that general direction. The Yagi antenna that I've been using won't be much help there. We'll switch to a different antenna and a different strategy. So looks like it's in the park. I know from experience the park's about a mile long. So it looks pretty close to the center of the park. So it's not in the south end of the park or the north end. So let's head to the park and see if we can't find this fox. So we're pulling up here to the Ridge Nature area. Okay, we're at the Ridge. I'm at the picnic area in the center of the park. I've got my ICOM R5 receiver. I've switched antennas from the Yagi to just the whip antenna. There's a couple different antennas you can use for radio direction finding or fox hunting. I'm just gonna use a plain whip antenna and demonstrate how to use that. So we've done step one, which is find the signal and take bearings to the fox. Step two was triangulating the signals. And you saw that from the map diagram that I showed and it looked like all the intersections came to the Ridge Nature area. So I'm here at the Ridge Nature area and we've switched to the same radio receiver, but just a whip antenna. We don't need the Yagi anymore. In fact, step three is to attenuate the signal. So we're probably so close to it that it's gonna overwhelm the radio. We don't need a directional antenna. What we need to do now is knock down the signal and see if we can locate it. So there's a couple ways to attenuate the signal. One is to tighten up the squelch. So let me do that real quick. All right, I've tightened up the squelch and we're still getting a pretty strong signal here. Full scale. So the next thing that we can try to do is take the antenna off. So let's do that. Well, you can see that that's taking the signal down, but let's just go ahead and do a little sweep and see if we can find the signal. Oh, 
Looks like there's a signal in that direction, even with the antenna off. Let's keep sweeping. Okay, I'm sweeping. All right, no signal that direction. All right, so let's go back. So it looks like that direction on the other side of this garbage can. So let's see what we can go find. Okay, we still got a good signal. And even when I turn away from it, it's pretty strong. So we must be really close. Another thing you can do to attenuate the signal is knock it off frequency. See the signal went away there. So let's go ahead and knock it a little off frequency. Okay, we're off frequency and we're still getting a good strong signal. Not in that direction, so we're still heading in the right way. Let's knock it off frequency a little more. Okay, so we're way off frequency and we're still getting a signal. Let's stop for a minute and see if we can pick the signal back up. Yeah, full scale and we're well off frequency. Looks like it's in this direction. If I spin around, not in that direction. So this is 180 degrees the other direction. So it's definitely this direction here. We must be getting really close. All right, signal's definitely getting louder. Let's see if we can find it. I think I see something. It sure looks like a radio to me. Let's see what we've got here. And there it is. This is the fox, so we found the fox. 146.535, it's a Baofeng radio, extended battery pack. This is a Bionics Fox controller. It's drawing power off the battery pack and it's plugged into the speaker mic jack. And the way I've got this set up is that it will broadcast for 45 seconds. It identifies in Morse using our club call sign and then it takes a break. So I've got it on low power, so it's been 2.5 watts the whole time. And you can still hear I'm picking it up on the radio receiver. So congratulations, we just found the fox. Okay, so let's summarize what we just did in this fox hunt where we were looking for a hidden radio transmitter. So this was the hidden radio transmitter, this Baofeng. It was set to 2.5 watts on 146.535 megahertz. I was using my ICOM R5 radio receiver. We use this directional Yagi tube meter tape measure antenna. I had a map of the area and I used a compass. So that's all the gear we needed. So let's summarize the process. We were told that this hidden radio transmitter, the Fox, was somewhere between Fayetteville and Peachtree City. So I printed out this map. Step one was to find the signal. I went to high ground on the north end of the county at New Hope Church. I used this directional two meter tape measure Yagi, and we determined that the bearing was almost due south. So I took the compass and then we drew a straight line all the way to the end of the map because we didn't know where it would be. Then we drove to the west of that line and we took another bearing with the Yagi antenna, plotted that on the map. We had an intersection, and then I went east of that line, took another bearing, plotted on the map. The intersection of those three bearings was the Ridge Nature area. So I drove over here, and then we changed antennas from the two meter tape measure Yagi to the whip antenna. But then we discovered that the signal was so strong, and we were parked in the center of the park, and it looked on the map that we would be in the center of the park, that I tightened up the squelch. We were still getting a full signal. Then we took the antenna off and we noticed some directionality with the antenna off. If I pointed the antenna connector in the general direction of where the strong signal was, it came in through the radio receiver. If I pointed away from it, the signal went away. But as we got closer, it didn't really matter. We were getting full signal everywhere. So I knocked it off frequency 
and then we just kept going until we found a strong signal and we found the fox. So it's a three-step process to find the fox. First is you've got to get a signal. It's good to get three of them and take bearings from three different locations. You triangulate those bearings. That's where they intersect. Go to that location, attenuate the signal, and then you should be able to find the fox. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching the video. This is Joe, call sign KI4ASK. Thanks for watching and happy fox hunting. See you next time. So this is not a instructional video on compasses, but just a few things about them. This is a base plate compass. The red always points north and I'm actually oriented north right now. There are 360 degrees in a circle. You've got north, east, south, and west. And you can see around the bezel of the compass are the degree markers. So we'll use that to help us take bearings to the fox. It's got a straight edge so we can draw lines on the map as well. Plenty of YouTube videos out there that tell you how a compass works. There are also apps that you can use if you don't want to use a compass and a paper map. There are fox hunting apps, uh, Fox Hunt Pro for iOS, and SigTrax for Android are two really good apps. And you don't even have to take a bearing. You just stand and point yourself in the direction of where you hear the strongest signal and you tap a button and it draws the line for you. Joe Domaleski, KI4ASK, and I'm gonna demonstrate fox hunting for you. Fox hunting is the locating a hidden radio transmitter. So there is a transmit somewhere between Fayetteville and Peachtree City. My goal is to locate it. The three step direction finding or fox hunting. I'm just going to use a plain whip antenna and demonstrate how to use that. Yes, the back of my SUV is a mess.